What's up, YouTube? Gonna start this video off with the obligatory Carl Gustav from the parachute. Once in a while, you get super lucky with those and actually hit something. Uh, this is a core core gameplay on Nelson Bay using the engineer kit for the most part. I'm gonna switch out to a few different kits during this this particular commentary. Um, so, anyways, this video I want to talk a little bit about the. Uh, the video rendering, I've still been kind of struggling with, with my video rendering and um, trying to get everything to working perfectly and to where I like it and to where I have beautiful footage. And I know a lot of you are going to say, um, you know, you should be doing it on a PC then. Well, yeah, I know. I, I have some pretty uh, pretty nice footage that I've recorded this week uh, on using Fraps on PC. I mean, it's so much more you can do on a PC recording-wise than you can on a... Uh, Xbox, but you know, nonetheless, I want my Xbox footage to look uh, as nice as possible too. Uh, so um, I, I think I got the as I fail grenade right there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I think I got it figured out what what's been ailing me. So um, let me know what you think if the quality looks all right. I know it's going to be definitely hard to try on uh, Valparaiso or I'm sorry on Nelson Bay. You're you're not going to get the the I guess the the bright highlights of, of a board like something with water or something like that. But anyways, throw it on there and if you like it, let me know. Um, this map uh, is a super quick victory that we did the other day. Um, I, I wanted to throw something quick on tonight and get something out before the weekend because I'm going to be gone uh, this week on vacation. So I just wanted to kind of get something out before then so that uh, it's not completely dry for the next next few days. Um, gaming wise I've been playing Battlefield and I've also uh, been playing a bit of Team Fortress 2 on Steam which I suck at but it's still fun um, I haven't played that game in a while uh, and I'm hoping maybe to pick some other stuff up on Steam this weekend and, and start playing that uh, but for the most part I've been I've been sticking to, to a little bit to Battlefield and and just uh, drooling over the videos of Elder Scrolls 5 still. I can't wait. What little social life that I have left is going to be gone on that day. <laughs> so, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. The um, Some of the things that I'd like to... I, get, I point a couple of things out here anyways in, in Nelson Bay. Nelson Bay is a finicky map. It's really hard to defend on. Um, for the most part because they can blow your buildings up. There's very there's only a few crates that are, I guess maybe it's half the crates that they can't blow up there inside. Um, but the thing that's frustrating about this map is there's a lot of campers everywhere. In hardcore, it's even worse. And uh, but after a while, if you play hardcore for a while, I'm telling you guys, if you go and you get good at hardcore, um, coming back to core mode is so much easier because you know the map so well. Because when you're playing in hardcore. Uh, people, you, you learn after a while where everybody camps because you get shot from there constantly. So if, you, if you're running down, say, the left side of this map, I don't know why I was trying to go up there, but whatever. Anyways, uh, if I, I know from I'm getting shot in the back there. I, I have no clue where he is, but if I'm getting shot anywhere in the front, I'll have a, a really good idea of where uh, that guy was shooting from, even though I don't have any radar or anything. Um, so it, I think I think it helps you with your map knowledge a little better. I just hit that dude with a Carl Gustav and he lived. <laughs> Ugh, core mode sometimes. Interesting. Then I shoot this guy like one time and he drops. Somebody must have buttered him up for me. So anyways. Um, oh, that was the other thing too. I, I grabbed a Saiga here. This kind of, this game reignited my, like, my Saiga thing. I remember back in, in Bad Company 1... I used to be like addicted to the USAS. I would use that thing all the time. And in in Bad Company 2, I, re I really haven't touched the shotguns that much. I, I I haven't had very much luck with the hit detection um, at all. But since uh, I don't know, I guess you could say uh, since I actually since I played this game, you know, it, it's been it's been a lot more interesting to me to use like the. Use, use that shotgun in particular, that Saiga, and just spam the hell out of it. Every time I shoot it, just shoot it like three or four times at once. So 
you, you know, even if you are wasting bullets, at least you're killing the one person. So I went, I went and did some urban combat today. And, uh, Oh, I also like to point out here that I never use ACOGs on any gun ever, so I suck with this thing. So <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you guys are gonna leave plenty of comments. Even with the AN94, I'd have been better off with iron sights than with this stupid ACOG on there that I picked up. But whatever. Um, so that's why you're gonna see me. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know get out some s'mores and you know put up a pup tent and stuff. <laughs> And start camping because I have, I have a really hard time using that thing because I, I like to ground pound, and um, and ground pounding with that, with the ACOG just it doesn't work for me. I know some people love to sit back and, and mark with it. I just, I've never had any luck uh, with ACOGs. I, I think it's just the the amount of screen it blocks off drives me nuts. It it screws up my strafing. So, <laughs> but this uh, this particular map is can be kind of frustrating to to, uh, to attack on too because the other team I mean there's just so many spots in Nelson Bay just to camp and frustrate the hell out of the other team so you have to you have to kind of uh, you know actually to be honest with you I've only been really successful when I played in a team on this map I've never really had any any good games where I wasn't I've got some uh some pretty good stuff. I'm, I'm kind of jonesing to go back to to hardcore, by the way. So you may see me returning there soon. But it's it, to be honest with you, on the, on the Xbox, there hasn't been the servers in, in in hardcore are just like not nearly as full as the core servers. And you're getting when you do get in uh, when you do get in a game, it's full of uh, it's full of a bunch of uh, people from other countries and stuff, and so there's like a lot of chop going on. So, as you can see, I didn't go in there, and it's not because I'm camping. Well, I am kind of camping, but, you know, there's there's a bunch of blues in there. So I knew it was covered. I thought I'd be better on the outside as a distraction. So, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you keep a lookout for all the new uh, videos I got coming up here pretty soon. We're going to be doing some real interesting stuff in the near future. See ya. Thank you.